Second Amendment gun rights. I believe that if you are uh, permitted to carry a concealed weapon, you should be able to carry that anywhere in this state. Uh, I represent South Dakota values, but I feel that we need not only South Dakota values, but we also need a vision. But I do feel that having a vision is going to be extremely important to the future of this state. Uh, and, and I've expressed that as much as I can. Two minutes I probably can't express it, but we do have to get this state back to a position of financial strength. We need a strategy in this state that builds all communities. Two-thirds of our communities are declining. I wrote the plan for South Dakota, the vision that I have, that allows all communities to participate in a strategic plan to develop new and better jobs. And with my business or my experience in small business, it, with uh, actually developing three businesses and producing 50 jobs in South Dakota's economy, and my work as a mayor, building partnerships along the I-29 corridor as well as locally around the Brookings area, growing 3,100 jobs. Uh, and having a very detailed plan, comprehensive plan, that I'll put up against anybody else's of why we need to go where we're going in this state. Uh, we do a lot of things right in this state, but we just need to do them better. And one last thing I will mention is that with all the people that I've talked to in this state and met and learned from, uh, I, I will sum it up this way. Uh, we are better than we think we are in this state. And I believe it's time that we begin to... Uh, call this state and the people of this state to greatness. Uh, we need a governor that has ideals. Uh, Viktor Frankl once said that, that idealism is real realism. Because when you expect more from somebody, and I do this with my kids, I tell them do your best all the time, every time, that when you expect the best and the most out of somebody and they reach that and they're successful, that's reality. But it may start with an ideal. And I have ideals and a vision for this state that uh, I want to see proceed. So thank you again for the time. Appreciate that. Thank you. Five years. Uh, the only thing I can say about me, I'm a South Dakota Vietnam vet, so I'm South Dakota to the core, even though I don't reside here at the present time. Uh, we're friends because of, of the Lord. That's how I know Gordon Howe yeah, for 25 years. Uh, candidates can get up and say, well, I'll do this and I'll do that. But uh, with the two Sioux Falls leading candidates, I guarantee you, the one of them uh, would, uh, has no interest in preserving babies. Uh, and I'll say this on my record, <laughs> not my record, but uh, uh, our lieutenant governor in 2006 broke a tie vote in the Senate by saying it's okay to abort babies that are as a resort of incest or rape. So if you think he's totally pro-life, you better research that record with me, okay? Is, it, maybe I, I shouldn't have said that today, but I did, so uh, look it up. Gordon is pro-life to the core. Uh, he also sponsored and co-sponsored several bills, including the South Dakota Firearms Freedom Act, authored and sponsored the Health Care Freedom Act, which challenged government-run health care, supported the current resolution affirming the Tenth Amendment rights of the state of South Dakota. With that, I just thank you for this opportunity and uh, want to introduce a good candidate. Next time he's here, he'll be here probably. Thank you. Thank you.